recently we saw in the news there's a big story about a sex education book in China that has caused like a big controversy and even I saw news about it on Facebook. So today we want to compare our respective experiences with sex education in our own countries. So for me in the US and for Sid in China. So what was your experience? I pretty much didn't get any sex education. Maybe like once, but that's like middle school. That thing is like more for like a science class. You learn all the terms, you then you prepare right. that for the test. Mm -hmm. It's probably not even on the test. Oh. That, that's it. Like for like like oh, one one class. Wait, yeah. they only taught this in during yeah, one yeah. class. Yeah, yeah, it's like one chapter, like, and that was my first time mm -hmm. and the only time. For my case, a lot of the time, mm -hmm. the parents will first kind of introduce the subject. What age would be the first time? Like, my parents first kind of introduced the subject. I was maybe seven years old. Okay. I'm not sure exactly, but seven. I was definitely pretty young. Like first grade? Yeah, probably about. So basically, when I was like seven years old, my parents. They're like, okay, we're gonna give you this book. And this book, it's like a children's book, illustrated book. I think it was called like, What's the Big Secret? It's, it's like, like this kind of book? Yeah, it's honestly, it's quite similar to this book. Basically, it explains, okay, number one, what is sex? Is sex like a dirty word? Physical differences between men and women, girls and boys, basically. Uh -huh. Of course, it's like, where do babies come from? Like, how does that work? Right, right, right. What is appropriate and inappropriate touching? So that's basically meant to prevent sexual abuse. I think every parent is going to do it differently. There are some people who are going to probably do it younger than seven, maybe like four years old, because you know those questions oh, yes. are, those questions arise pretty early on. Where do babies come from? Where do you think they come from? Well, I think a stork he um he drops it down, and then and then a hole goes in your body, and there's blood everywhere coming out of your head, and then you push your belly button, and then your butt falls off, and then you hold your butt, and you have to dig. And you'll find a little baby. <laughs> That's exactly right. You know but, I mean? but but did you understand like when you're seven? I think I understood the basic idea. So you realize, oh, you sh I shouldn't let strange touch me. Yeah, okay. I did. Yeah. Okay. So that's the first time. Right. How about the second time? So second time, I was in fourth grade, maybe nine, ten years old. They split up the class into boys and girls. Mm -hmm. They did this separately. So the school nurse like gives us a presentation about puberty. At the end, they give you like a little bag with like a little tiny stick of deodorant because it's like, oh, you're gonna Seriously? Snack. Yes, they give pads and tampons. So during elementary school, you didn't have any kind of class about that and no, nothing like that was taught to you. Maybe they had that for girls, but I probably didn't know. For sure, there's no like a uh, section just for guys. That, that didn't happen for, right, for right. my school. But what's after that? So after that, the next time was around 6th grade, so maybe like 12 years old. A health class, basically. It didn't teach you only about like puberty and sex stuff. They taught you about other stuff too, like probably like alcohol, drugs. They had one like unit that was about puberty, sex, that kind of thing. They also taught us stuff about like how do you put on a condom. They basically take a banana <laughs> and then they just like slide it on like this. I'm glad that they brought that stuff up early. Otherwise, I don't know how I would find out about it. Probably not through any positive thing. Because the what way I know, found out. That is pornography, correct? Here's the thing pornography is not meant to educate you about sex. Get out of the water, there's a shark! What, a shark? Get out of the water! There's a shark in the water! Shark in the bathtub. I mean, at that time, no one gonna teach me anything. That's the only way I can know about this thing. Pretty sure that's like how other kids, like at least boys, mm. find out about mm. the sex thing. Personally, that makes me really sad. Oftentimes, it has like really extreme stuff. It's like the stuff that they do. It's very degrading to women. And when little boys see that, they think that's okay. They think it's okay to treat women that way. You should go. There's no need for you to be here. I'm way bored, right? Mm -hmm. Like these days, I always see like news about like a child abuse. Right. The reason why I feel like that has something to do with the sexual education topic is because we didn't receive this kind of information. For example, in this book, they teach you, oh, if the stranger asks you, okay, they're gonna 
touch you, you should run away or tell yeah. your parents. It's so easy for a young kid to right, get right. manipulated. I think this book is a step in the right direction. So of course, this is all just our opinions. You know, you're allowed to disagree. And we would love to know, what do you guys think about this kind of thing? We're very curious. So please let us know what you think in the comments. Please share this video. And also, it would be great if you guys could follow us. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye, Jin. -bye. Bye,